Hey guys, so today I'm going to be telling you guys some of the realest, realest high school advice you could ever possibly get from anyone. And I'm in the position to tell you guys this advice because I completed high school. I graduated um, and I'm going to be going to college so I thought it would be kind of good to reflect on all my years, my only four years of wisdom and share with you guys everything, all the juicy key points that will help you guys if you're still in high school, if you're entering high school or you just want to watch this video. Grapes are super juicy. I love grapes. Um, but yeah, in this video, we're also going to get super juicy. And I'm going to be super honest and real with you guys. As a matter of fact, I'm literally in my pajamas right now. So, this is super real. This is the realest high school advice that you will ever get. Um, and yeah, let's just get right into it. So, Number one is that your friends and your friend's circle are definitely going to change. And sometimes it's not a bad thing, right? So in high school, when you enter, you're probably going to be with a bunch of people. Then next thing you know, in 10th grade, that group might separate. And then you might make new friends, hang out with new people. And over these four years in high school, this friend circle that you have is kind of going to be changing. And that's because in high school, you're going to have different classes. So you may take a class that not your best friend is going to take. And through mixing classes, you're going to meet new people and your views might change. Your personality will still be the same, but um, your interests may change. And as a result, your friend circle is going to change. So I want you to know that you cannot expect a perfect fantasy of friendship with people that you're going to have this tight close gang of friends and they're always going to be there for you that is true in some cases you're going to have best best friends and you're going to have amazing times together and you're always going to maybe have like two three people that are always going to be your best friends but um in high school it is likely that not all of your friends are going to stick with you through the whole ride of high school and that's okay. So I want you to know that in the end of it, you're going to find at least one person, at least one person that you will vibe with and will kind of understand you. They may not have to have the same dressing style as you. They may not have to be the same religion, race, or even like in any of the same classes as you you just can get to know them through like a mutual friend but you will find that one person um and in some cases you may not even know that they're there um but they will be there so in high school do not be hesitant to go make new friends and kind of mingle and mix around because um that's just how you grow your friendships Number two, this is kind of a big one, but it is something that I, it took me so long to realize this, um, but it's actually very important. And that is that you're going to have, definitely you're going to have some classes where you don't even need to study for. You probably love that class. You probably have a in that class the whole year and you may not have to study that much um, to do well in that class. And then there's going to be those classes that you don't like and that are super tough and you are probably going to be so grateful and happy that you even passed an exam. So there are these two extremes, right? But no matter what, in any of these situations, I want you to take away that never, ever, ever compare your intelligence or your ability to take tests with somebody else's so what i mean by this is that you may think that that person in the room is the smartest person ever they know everything they don't need to study at all but the secret is that 
every single person has their own way of studying, their own way of understanding information. Maybe they don't go home and cram everything, or maybe they don't go home and uh, redo problems over and over again. Maybe they watch videos. Maybe they have a tutor. You don't know exactly how people achieve their grades. So don't ever compare yourself with how other people like to study and how other people achieve their grades because they can be completely different ways. And once you realize that, you may think and realize that that whatever works for somebody else may not even work for you. So don't waste your time trying to crack the code and figure out how did they get the A's? How did they get the A minuses? They're super smart too. Why did they get an A minus this time? Don't worry about what other people are doing and how other people are getting those test scores. You have to focus on how you get those test scores because you have to figure out how, how you learn best. And once you do that, once you like ace that one test that everybody thinks is super hard and that you worked all your effort and energy you put into it and you studied and you did good that's all it takes for you to keep doing that and keep getting motivated to achieve those good scores so you don't know what people do behind closed doors like some of the people that i thought were like literally the genius is the most smartest people turns out they actually had a tutor and i didn't realize that i was thinking wow they're like a genius they're a prodigy like i can never compete with that but the honest truth is that everybody has their own kind of way to study to get good grades and maybe it's all it takes for you is just asking for help so just because somebody has a tutor does not mean that they're dumb it actually shows that they actually have the courage to go ask for help and if that's what you have to do then go and do it but you can get anything achieve your grades you can literally work for anything if you put your mind to it and you actually do. And it's kind of cliche, but it's true. And I'm trying to tell you that nobody is smart. Nobody is extremely dumb either. Everybody is in this kind of race in high school to do their best. Um, but if through the struggles and through um, finding your way and finding what works for you, you will definitely at least do good in at least one class and you'll enjoy it so that's the good thing so number three is going to be that inevitably you are going to face some rough times high school is not perfect you're going to have those days when you're super sad so those days where you're super happy because you got a hundred on your test and it's going to change so there's never going to be like one perfect year where you're going to get perfect grades perfect relationships with people it's just not real life so what i'm trying to tell you is that in high school the real advice i can give you is that um you're going to face struggles so you have to kind of accept that prepare your mind for it but don't think negatively always think positively that it's all gonna change once you hit like a certain point and that's called rock bottom there's no other way to go other than up you can once you're down here you can only reach up here and it's going to happen so your crush may not like you back your friend may decide to leave you and go join a different group of friends you may not do as well as you hoped on a test and small little things like this can add up and it may affect you but realize that in high school it's kind of like a game right you're going to be going through a lot of stuff figuring out who you are as a person and it's kind of like it's gonna be a struggle in the beginning um but once you get through all of it and you realize and you look back and you think like wow like i really thought that i would never get out of a situation like that but i'm here today and so are you anything that kind of brings you down in life um just know that you can definitely come out but you can definitely keep um thinking positively surround yourself with good people that cheer you up and you will um be happy again and you will get through it so people do say that time sort of heals pain and partially that is true because 
if you're going through a period when things are just not going good or you got to a fight with somebody um and time will kind of just pass you guys will go your separate ways and you will definitely be better you will be the better version of yourself so think about that so if today things don't work out with a potential uh, relationship or a potential friendship that's okay because when you don't have that distraction you can focus on bettering yourself bettering your own study habits your own eating uh, style your own lifestyle and becoming the better version of yourself and I honestly I think like that is the greatest kind of middle finger um, to tell like kind of show people because if other people think you're not doing good all you need is a little bit of caring for yourself and ignoring what other people think and that will definitely bring up your confidence number four is going to be that your time is very 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 precious and i'm gonna say this to a lot of those juniors and seniors out there um because Junior and senior year is probably one of the toughest years of high school. Um, and during that time, it's tough because you have to do SATs or ACTs or subject tests or um, taking a bunch of exams. And there's also the huge, huge, huge um, struggle and like kind of race for college apps. Um, because you have to figure out what you want to do with your life. You have to figure out like what colleges you have to apply to, what essays they require, what grades they require. It's literally so much. And I want you to know that your time is very, very, very precious. And you don't have time to waste worrying about other people. You have to focus on yourself and bettering your own life and thinking about your future ahead. So crying about some guy or like crying over some like friendship that wasn't even a good friendship, that is not the way to go. Um, instead, reserve that time for caring for your own habits, your own life. Put your life back together because you can do it. And once you see what you can accomplish, there's nobody who can stop you after that. Um, so yeah, you make sure you use your time wisely and it's, I know it's kind of tough because we get distracted, but you know, set your limits, right? If you know that you have a test tomorrow, maybe watch binge watching Netflix isn't the best idea. You're going to probably do it because that's what I did some days, um, but obviously you're going to learn from it. and. Yeah, so through high school, um, use your time wisely and sometimes it happens, things happen and you just procrastinate and sometimes you don't do what you're supposed to do, but it's okay, we're all human and you're gonna learn from it. So that's the big takeaway, but um, to avoid all of that, I'm going to just tell you guys, try your best to stay on top of things, hand in assignments when they're due, and use your time wisely. Lastly, I'm going to say, be yourself. That is, everybody says that, I know everybody says it, but it's very, very, very true. And one of the realest high school advice that I would offer to you guys because in high school you're going to be going through all these phases what other people are wearing what other people are thinking what other people are saying about you it's all going to be kind of taking up uh, energy and time and you're it's going to take up your thoughts and um it really like affects you but trying to be um, the bigger person and not caring about any of that just be yourself whatever you like to do just do it because so what if that person does not like what you do who cares about their opinion we care about you and um, when you keep doing what you love you're eventually going to find those group of people that actually support what you like to do Maybe those people are going to help you discover a talent that you never thought you had or 
a talent that you've been suppressing in yourself for a long time because you were afraid of what other people think. Um, so suppose I really, really, really like to sing. I used to sing when I was younger, but suppose like I, for some reason, do not want to go out and sing in public or don't want people to know that I um, want to sing in public. Guess what that's gonna do to me? Those other people's thoughts are going to affect what I think about myself. And it's going to prevent me from doing what I love, right? Um, so instead, just keep doing what you love and eventually those people are going to find you to come support you. And that's what I did for one of my friends who really, really is amazing at singing. And she did not know that. She did not um, even think to go out and sing because she was kind of afraid. And I'm trying to tell you that you do not have to be afraid of any single person because everybody, every single person is afraid of things themselves. There's no, not one person that has never been afraid to be, be themselves or afraid of what other people think. It's every single person is like this. So if you kind of level up mentally and you prepare yourself and you say, hey, I'm going to do what I love. I'm going to surround myself with people that like me, surround myself with people that motivate me. It's going to help a lot. This lighting just like got so weird right now. <gasps> okay, that's great. <laughs> okay, so I'm back. The lighting just like did some weird shenanigan thing. I don't know what happened, but I'm back. Um, so yeah, what I was saying before was um, yeah, so make sure you surround yourself with good people and be yourself, be your basic self. Every person is unique, every person has their own quirks and little special things about them that there is going to be people that don't like that about them and there's going to be people that really really love that about them and think that is their best quality. So never ever forget to do what you like to do. Um, do things that make you happy and just be yourself. Don't try to change for other people because that's just creating a different version of yourself that's basically fake and once other people find out that that's fake it's even worse so just be your own amazing beautiful self and life will be all good um so yeah that is all of the advice that i can think of that is like of highest importance um, I hope you really like this video and I helped you guys, um, like preparing you guys if you're entering high school or if you're already in high school and you have like a couple more years left or if you're going to be a senior and in that case, good, good luck to all of your college apps and to anything that you have to do. Um, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. Please make sure to give this video a like and subscribe because I really like giving advice and i like talking to you guys and kind of sharing my experiences um i think it's super fun and i as long as i can help you guys like i love doing that so yeah the sun just came out and i kind of look super yellow and okay so basically um mother nature is trying to like shine some light on me and help me give this outro thing to you guys and give you some light of happiness and good luck enjoy so take that <laughs> bye guys